What is up, killers? Kevin today back with a brand new episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda on a website this week. This is going to be episode 593 within my series, but without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into the video. More gold coming in at 1.1 kilobytes of a download. This is an extremely simple mod that increases the amount of gold you find in the world. That includes NPCs, containers, and gold purses. The increase is 10 times the amount, which sounds like a lot, but when you realistically think about a normal amount that is dropped either on an NPC, so roughly around anywhere between 1 and 45 gold. This increases the amount between 10 and 450, with a high amount being rarer. And and obviously the higher the enemy the more amount of gold very nice indeed kind of a little bit baffling not only that uh, sort of gold is found on certain different enemies such as a troll wild a troll or a giant if you want to call it that would have gold but nevertheless defeating this beast of an enemy obviously not for me display purposes for this particular video but once upon slaying a giant you will be presented with a heavy purse Blood Glass Armor coming in 8 megabytes of a download. A original mod from the NexusMods.com with full perms of permissions to head over to the Bethesda.net website. This mod is a recolor of the glass armor to make it look like Blood Glass Armor. How to get this? Pretty much simple. All you need to do is head over to any particular forge within the game. That's going to be a Sky Forge or a Standard Forge. Head over to the glass category and you will find all of these pieces of armor. For this, you will need a set of requirements not only will you need a base of glass armor but upon there you will need other different requirements in the form of ingots and leather straps or strips but yeah very easy to obtain via this one all you need is to do is the requirements install plug and play and away you go to get this beautiful blood glass armor craftable vampire clothes coming in at 1.4 kilobytes of download this mod simply adds the ability to craft vampire clothes and upgrade them via for male and for female but this particular one you will get the clothes boots, hood, and glove, all craftable at the forge. For this particular one, I think it's very nice as a role-playing set of armor. Obviously, these are gonna be closed. The armor value rating is going to be zero, unfortunately, on selected pieces to do with this clothing. But yeah, if you do sort of like this set, maybe not rock the hood, maybe switch things in and out, or mix and match the whole entire set, it's entirely up to you. But you now do get the ability to craft this particular armor set. Raven Rock 2K coming at 150. 0.4 megabytes of a download. I do believe there is going to be a 1K version, but I wanted to try out the 2K version and stress test not only my console to do with the performance with all my other different mods, but obviously as well to see what the visuals of this particular mod is. Now, this one is going to be a nexusmods.com and hopefully this one is ported over with four perm submissions. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, this one obviously reborn the whole entire Raven Rock, not only for the huts, the buildings, the stone flooring, doors in interior including LOD textures and meshes that is basically things that are going to be far away to view from that particular one they are going to be in a 1k the LOD but up close no flaws at all it is going to be a beautiful 2k texture surrounding it there is only going to be a few amount of clips within this particular showcase but I highly suggest if you are a massive fan of Raven Rock or do like going there often this is going to be a great mod if you do have that download size space for free if not then probably grab the 1k and as well if you are going back to experience this particular DLC I would definitely rock this one the amount of detailing on this one is pretty much realistic and if not a nice new breath of fresh air into Raven Rock Blood Glass Weapons, coming in at 6.2 megabytes of a download, a nexusmods.com port from there to head over to the Bethesda website. This mod adds new weapons to the game with a mashup of the glass weapons with a few other different intricate things twined within each other, some vanilla and some not. How to get this particular set of weapons? All you need to do is make them under any forge, sky forge or a normal forge, head over to the glass category and you will find them. For this one you will get the standard sword, great sword, war axe, battle axe, mace, war hammer and of course dagger. Now to get these particular ones like the blood glass armor which we've already covered is you are going to need a standard set of the weapon that you do correspondingly want. So for 
instance, the glass, blood glass sword, you will need a glass sword. And then upon then, you will need a few more other different ingredients. Usually for this particular set will be ingots. But follow the instructions that you do see on screen now. And if you do like what you see on screen now, I encourage you all to go and grab this one. And if you haven't picked it up already, go and have a little look at the blood glass armor too. So guys, that's the end of this particular episode. This has been episode 593 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy it, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. To say I'm an awful lot. If you're new around it too, why not consider clicking that subscribe button? It's completely free. And if you want to go above and beyond, click the little bell icon. Apparently, in some way, shape or form, if you do click that every time I post a video, you should get a notification. Guys, this has been Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.